Hey y'all, APG Jamie here, and uh, let's see what's going on in the art desk. Uh -huh. Painting a t-shirt, that's what's going on over there, y'all. So, uh, I had a few, blah, blah, a few requests uh, from some folks um, who have watched the art joy of sharing uh, videos that I've done lately. And uh, they're like, hey, where'd you get that neato t-shirt you're wearing there, APG Jamie? And I'm like, well, hey, you know, I painted it. And they're like, well, let's see. And I'm like, okay, lucky for you, I recorded it because I'm that kind of girl. I record junk just because I'm that kind of girl. And as y'all saw, I started with a stencil and well I've got cardboard between uh, up inside the t-shirt so when I paint it it doesn't bleed through to the other side and I put my stencil there and I taped it down with some little washi tapes and I'm going over it with white paint just to dull back some of that color of the t-shirt which in this video on my screen it's a really bright color okay in real life it's not so bright it's more of a pale peachy kind of color. So anyway, I'm using just white acrylic paint to knock that back through the stencil. I'm not going to move the stencil and I'm going on the outside just a little bit so I can have like this little glow and halo effect. That was that was my plan in my head anyways. I think it worked out pretty good. Pretty okay good. So um, yeah, I'm rushing through this. It really took only like 30 minutes to do this uh, t-shirt. I only did the front. I am considering putting hashtag AJOS on the back, which is art, joy, of sharing, okay? So I used various uh, brands and uh, colors of just plain craft paint. I did not do any additives in here because my experience with painting these t-shirts I don't need it. Hey again, y'all. Um, yeah, but there are, I can't remember the name of it. It's a, Golden makes this additive that you can put in your uh, acrylic paint so that they remain soft on your fabric. Okay. I don't know because, yeah, like I said, my experience has stayed soft enough for me. So there you go. And uh, yeah, just painting through with colors here. I am using a uh, makeup wedge to apply my colors. I started with the lightest in the center, but you can start wherever you want to start and um, use whatever colors you want to use. If you choose to make this type of shirt or any other type of painted fabric, okay? You can also use paint brushes. Now, when it comes to using paint brushes and that kind of thing, you want to put not only the cardboard inside the shirt to protect it from bleeding through but you also want to put a piece of um, sandpaper y'all the grit uh, probably a finish kind of grit not super fine just you know medium to fine and because what that does is that will hold the fabric in place and it won't scrooch around or anything like that I learned that from quilting y'all <laughs> yes I did Sorry about that little auto focus kind of zooming in and out. Sometimes I forget to turn it off. So anyway, like I said, the um, use sandpaper in there. Now, let's see. What else do I have to tell you? I don't know. I go back over the yellow and the green once I get it all done. And when I'm using the heat gun, y'all, I am using it briefly, all right, because stencils are plastic. They will melt and they will get very misshapen if you keep that heat gun on there, okay, y'all? So take it easy with that. All right, just, say, just saying in advance of y'all doing that if you're going to do that. Now I'm going to clean my little fingers up really nice and good and try to avoid touching the rest of your t-shirt if you got paint on your hands because sometimes it'll split or splatter when you're using the... Um, the, the makeup wedge and also be careful with drips and stuff like that when you're using paint brushes because if if you're not careful you're going to end up having to splatter it anyway guy okay, just because because of accidents it's a big reveal Dun, da, da, da. i love it and now i'm just giving it some more hair gun y'all just to uh and then i set it over there for a little while now i'm going to do some uh 
I was going to stencil some letters on there like I've done in the past, which is cool. I'll try to link to a prior t-shirt painting video. See how, how it didn't move where the uh, sandpaper is? Anyway, this time I'm going to use some clear acrylic stamps, all right? Not necessarily the best option, but it's the option I chose to use because, yeah, it's pretty much fair game, y'all. And you can also use uh, black permanent markers if you want to just write on it. And you're using your sandpaper so it, it, the fabric underneath is not going to get all scrutched around and stuff. So I'm just uh, lining my acrylic letters up there because I'm going to be spelling out art, joy of sharing, okay? And uh, if you're going to be putting words and letters and junk like that on there, I suggest that you really figure out where you want to put them so you can get it all lined up the way you want to do it. Because once you put it down there, it's down there, y'all. Just saying. And I'm going to use some black uh, craft paint over here, and I'm going to just apply it to my acrylic stamps with a painty brush. Now, because I was using my halogen light, okay, they get very hot, which is nice in the wintertime, not so nice in the summertime. Anyways, um, because it, they get so hot, it can make your stuff dry just a little bit faster than what you may want it to dry good or bad that's what it does so that's why I'm going over those other letters because I'm trying to make sure I have nice and juicy wet paint on there now you can't do this like you do typically with um, stamping on paper okay because it may not all transfer very well depending what's underneath and depending how it stamps because you don't want to just splat it out there and have you know your paint just goes flatting everywhere so I'm going back over the words or the letters there with the paintbrush of an appropriate size and yeah my words could have been bigger but these are the biggest stamps I have letter stamps y'all and they're sufficing now I got some stencil stamps or stencil stamps stencils over there and uh, they're considerably bigger but I didn't want like I said I didn't want to do that like I said, in real time, this took uh, doing just the front of this t-shirt the way I did it, like 30 minutes, 40 max, okay? And uh, I've got it whittled down to just under nine, but we might as well just call it nine minute video, y'all, because it's sped it up. Speed it, sped, sped up. Mm -hmm. Musical, musical, musical interlude. Just a musical interlude for you. For me, for we, musical interlude. <laughs> if you can't have fun, what can you have? If I inspired y'all to make a painty t-shirt or other fabric, hey, tag me and, uh, you know, let me know. Let's just use hashtag painty t-shirt. P-A-I-N-T-Y-T-E-E. S-H-I-R-T. Be sure to put that R in there. Okay? Okay. So, any hoots, be sure to clean your stamps up. You want to drop them down in water and then give them a good toothbrush scrubbing. Well, old toothbrush, not new toothbrush, y'all. Thanks for watching. And happy arting, y'all.